Pastor Andrew Cisse, thank you so much for joining us on TPI. Thank you very much. Now, you are uh, uh, the head of uh, IRIS, the organization in Sierra Leone, but you're part of a bigger uh, family that's doing work with the underprivileged around the world. Yes. So, Iris, for those who are not familiar with the work of Iris, what are the things that Iris does in the countries that it goes into? Well, Iris does a lot of things. Um, in Sierra Leone, what we focus on really is planting churches and training leaders and, um, and also working with um, district people. We also started working with street girls in Sierra Leone and the beach. So, so that's basically what we involved in doing. So one of the things I, Heidi told me was that you don't have to do what I do in Mozambique. You go and do whatever the Lord lead you to do in Sierra Leone. Mm -hmm. So which was really good for me to, um, but basically we kind of like in the same train of what she's doing too in Pemba. So one of the things I know you do is you go into the, uh, the outskirts, so not just in uh, Freetown yeah. or Bamako, you, yeah. you go to, to, to the outskirts where uh, I gather you, you, tackle, uh, you tackle some big issues with young people who, who are involved in drugs. Yeah. Uh, tell us how bad the, the, the drug situation is on the outskirts and, and the villages. When we started working in that area, in that region, it was in 2010, and then um, the, 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 the community was so bad and it was uh, away from the city, like maybe two, two hours away from the city. So um, there's no lights, no running water. So we were there and then um, we started a school. So we have a partnership with the ministry in, in Oklahoma City called the No Boundaries. They help us, we start a school and then, um, but before, the kids from that village walk seven miles to the nearest school in that, re in, that, in that region. So we came and built a school right in the village. So that was like an answer to a prayer. Mm -hmm. But most of the, the, the girls in the community couldn't go too far because they get pregnant all the time because of the distance. So when we started the school, that issue cut down to 0%. Wow. So now what we're having now, when these youths finish their schooling, they don't have a job to do. And so most of the, and in that, in that area, what is known in that community is the young, the youths are involved in planting marijuana and growing them. That's mainly what they're involved in doing because there's no other infrastructure, no like a company or something else for them to do. So while we were there working with them and then the Lord started speaking into my heart that, you know, it is wanting to get people saved, but it's also important after when people get saved that you engage them with something that is productive for their families mm -hmm. and for whatever they can do to be a blessing to their community. And what are some of those things that you introduced them to, to get them, get them away from a life of drugs? And well, we <clears throat> actually not started yet, but this is what we want to initiate. Um, also a professional carpenter. So we're gonna have a carpentry shop where we're gonna train, train and teach them skills, how to work with their hands and to build tables and all those things. And then also, we also wanna do a uh, um, welding shop and a small um, art and craft shop. And then also a tailoring, especially for the, the street girls we're working with, we wanna bring them over as well so that they can start learning all those things. Now, for those who are not familiar with uh, Sierra Leone, all they know of is the, the war yeah. in Sierra Leone. They don't know about the now. Uh, what should they be praying for for you and the country? Well, we, I, we need a lot of prayers. And one of the specific areas I will encourage the body of Christ to stand with us for is we need good leaders. We need good leaders in Sierra Leone and also in Africa as a whole. And then for us in the ministry, basically what we need, um, we believe in God to be able to set up all these different uh, institutions whereby these people, this community can come and be equipped so that they can able to face the challenges that is ahead of them.